Hey guys, this is Chris with Electron Automotive. Right here, we've got a battery from 2006 to 2009 Honda Civic. Uh, what we're going to do is take it all the way apart. I'm going to show you guys how to switch the cells. Uh, you can use this if you're going to take your battery apart and put it back together so you can do it safely and in the right order, not forget anything. But uh, also, this is for people who buy battery kits from us online. The difference between a battery kit and a complete battery, if you buy a complete battery from us, you're going to get this. It goes in the car, just a few connectors, you're good to go. But if you want to save money on shipping and not have to, to pay as much and get the same exact battery, we sell all the individual ones that have already been remanufactured. So what I'm going to show you, we're going to take all this off, switch it out, the older ones, put some newer ones in, and it's pretty straightforward, simple. Uh, essentially no risk of being electrocuted, just like pretty much all of the hybrid batteries. Most of that stuff out there is just myths and rumors about people getting electrocuted. We've never had a problem here and we never use safety gloves, not because we know, uh, you know, all about this stuff and we're that good, just because it's so difficult to get shot. So to take this apart, you're going to need four tools, nothing special, simple Phillips, flathead, 10 millimeter, and then some long needle nose pliers. These help take off some clips, and make it a lot easier. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this side off right here. Um, nothing in here that can shock you. Four bolts. There's going to be four that hold this plastic piece on and then four to the module. If you have a drill, it's going to make this a million times easier. So let's pop this off. You're going to see deep in here, there's going to be four bolts hidden. One, two, three, and four. We're just going to take those out. You can reach inside with pliers or a magnet, pull them out. I just let them fall out. And then we've got three temperature sensors. One, two, three. We're just going to unplug these guys. That's it. There's a little uh, tab right here you push down on, and then you pull it right out. So I'll push down right here, pull very lightly on the wires, and it comes out. Last one. Now, a thing to remember when you're reinstalling this is that the yellow and the black wire is by itself on this side, and the white and black and the white and gray over here. Uh, later you can switch them up. So I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't happen. Right. Four bolts on the corners. And then lift this guy up. It comes out. Now, something when you open it up, you might be like, oh crap, I dropped a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure where it goes. We've got these four cylindrical, I don't know what you want to call them, washers, for lack of a better word. But where these four go is exactly where these four bolts came out of. They go on right there to fill the space and give it a good connection. So you can find the matching counterparts on the other side. There's one here. Two, three, and four. So we'll pull those guys out. We'll save them for later. All right, this guy, we don't need him anymore. Place him over here. Now this case is, is one of the weirdest ones. It's not a comp uh, solid piece. You've got to break it down into pieces. So first we'll take off all this foam. There's four clips here. Somebody's already been in this battery, so it's missing two of the clips. But if you go behind with these needle nose pliers, gently pry up, it'll pop out. That one. All right, now 
take off this top piece first and take notice, RCL. These are different sizes, so they're not, I mean, they'll, they'll fit, but not perfectly. This one won't go in, it's a little too wide. So, easy way you can remember, just number one, two, three, or just roll back to this part of the video. So, put that out of the way over there. And now we're going to unbolt all of the modules. Nothing tricky here. Just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. Really helps to have a gun like this. So I'm just going to zap them all off and then go from there. All right, now we got all the bolts off. You just take out those. There's nothing other than those 10 millimeter bolts. And this guy comes right off. Nothing here is going to fall out. Pop it over there. Now the battery is almost already taken apart. Got eight really long bolts right here. We're going to take this off and the batteries are going to be free. Let that guy hang out right there. Same thing again. Uh, we want to take these off and put them back in the same order. So I'm going to grab a pen to mark these. One, two, three, four. And this side of the case, we'll label one. That way you don't try and put it on the other direction. over there now look the batteries are out so what you're gonna do take them all out and we're gonna switch some of the plastic pieces with the new batteries put them in now when you take these out you need to uh, take pictures you can look you can use this video if you want but you can't switch up the batteries like this um, it'll create problems first it won't go together if you notice here on the back of this Two flat sides are right here, and the rounded sides are right here. Two flat sides are here, the rounded sides there. They're turned 90 degrees. So if we get a battery, it will fit in like this, but not like that. So make sure they go back in the same order so you don't have any problems with that. And also the position of the temperature sensors. Some of these batteries have temperature sensors on them. Some of them, like this one, do not. So just remember where they came from. This one came out of top left. So. You're basically gonna do this all the way down. Once you get all of these out, it's, you know, that, that's it. there's nothing left to it. So pull all these guys out, and then you're gonna put the new modules in. So I'll show you how to transfer the plastics from the old modules to the new ones. Here are some that have been switched. Straight out of your package, most likely you're gonna have these batteries. These are the most common ones that are failing right now, the, the orange and the green. These are some newer batteries that are better quality and last a lot longer. So you'll probably have these coming out, but you'll notice that these are not on here. They're actually different designs. So we're going to switch these two pieces. We need to take these covers off and switch out the temperature sensors. So I'll show you how to do that. Now the right way to get these off is to pry in these little spots right here and pull out the clips, but it's a pain in the butt. So we bought a special tool to remove these, and it's right here. So easiest way to get it out, it's kind of Mickey Mouse, but it works, we don't have any problems. Put it at the edge of the bench, kind of pop that side off, that side off, that's it. Now you'll notice four corner, or uh, there's four holes here and two holes here. The side with the four holes always goes on the green side. It won't fit the other way. If you try and put it the other way, you'll break something. So I got that off. 
Now these pieces in the middle, all you need to do is spread the battery and they come right out. So this guy's already stripped down. These you won't need anymore, you'll just need this guy. So now we'll take this one apart. This one has a temperature sensor, I chose this one so I can show you how to transfer those over too. So we're going to use our special tool. off. Now the temperature sensor locks in around here. You can pop it off pretty easily. This clip right here is on the other side too. I'm going to pull that guy up and out. And that's it. It just slides off. And remember it's on the orange side. So we're going to transplant that to the other. That's that. Now we just need to transfer over these two white pieces. They're really, these are really easy to get off. You got a little tab here and a little tab there and it comes out. So just to show you how these go again, these only lock in because of these two clips here. So all you need to do is pry them back and it'll come right out. Transfer it over, same thing, nothing special. Pop it in, that's good. To the other side. That's it. One thing to uh, remember when you're putting it on, these pieces are meant to go on these two spots where the batteries connect together. The, um, the way it's formed on the inside, it'll actually grab onto that hump right there so that they don't slide. So don't put them on right here, make sure they go on over the bumps. And then we'll transfer this cap over. These caps are the same thing. Choose your favorite color, put that one on. There's no difference between the two. Just remember the side with the four holes goes on the green side. And then our battery installation tool. And it's on. So now do that 11 more times and you're good. Remember the order. So I'm going to put this all back together for you guys. Um, show you how to reassemble it. Like I said, there's nothing to it. All of these just come right out. There's nothing special. So we'll start going from there. All right, so we got the battery all back together. Uh, one thing Tyler pointed out to me, I forgot to mention these end caps right here. So they come off pretty easy. Notice I took where my thumb is, the orange one came off. Put it back the same way, it goes on a lot easier. Oh, had it backward. And then it's on. When it was on this one, I had it backwards. So whatever side comes off, it comes off of, make sure to match it up. So green side, green, orange, with orange. If you look real close, there is a little difference. So. That's that. You got to do that for all of these here on the back. So now we're going to start with putting it back together. We're going to put this guy on. Make sure that you don't put him on backwards because he will fit like that. Everything will go back together. Then when you try and install it back into the, the unit behind the seat, it's not going to fit properly. So you notice you got the square edges right here and then over here it's got a chamfer. You want the chamfer on this side of the battery, the right side. Forgot these guys.
now I'm going to put my gun on a reduced power so that I don't over tighten or strip these bolts. Cool, that's that. Now, I'm going to put this guy back on. This orange wire goes up at the top. So one thing we need to make sure before we put it all together, these wires need to be routed properly. There's a little channel right here for this to go through. These little bends and humps are to pinch the wires so that they stay in there without coming out. So that's what you want it to look like. You don't want to do something like this or like that. Make sure it runs through there pull it back to the side so it's out of the way for the next step. Same thing over here. See like that would not be good because this black wire is going to get pinched when we put the face plate on. So make sure to make sure it's flush, just feel it with your finger. And now we're good to pop this guy on. Make sure the rubber's on there, it usually doesn't fall off. Oops, my bad. Upside down. There we go. Now I'm gonna put all these bolts in. I'm gonna to torque them. Recommended torque that we use is 100 inch pounds. That's just a number that we've been using for a long time, haven't had a problem with it. I'm not sure what Honda actually recommends, but I know that 100 uh, inch pounds is safe. And remember, inch pounds, not foot pounds. All right, so that board's back on. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you guys is there's two different size bolts. These longer ones go right here. One, two, three, four. Those actually hold this to the battery pack. These shorter ones go on here for the bus bars. So make sure you don't mess those up. If you put a short one like this into a long hole, you could possibly strip the threads. Um, if you put too long of one in there, you can actually damage the battery. So I'm going to put this on. Torque it to 100 inch pounds. This guy go on here, and that's good. So make sure you don't switch those up. Another mistake that I've made a million times, and I almost did it again while doing this. You need to be careful to not put 10 millimeter. Put these bolts in here. One, two, three, four. If you remember, that's where these guys go. We're gonna have bolts later that go through and hold it together. So if you put them in there, later on you're going to be trying to find these spots and, and not get it. So don't make that mistake. So next thing we're going to do, pop the other piece back on here. This guy's going on there. Pull it to the edge just to leave this guy hanging down. This little channel right here is where this guy's going to go. So him in here and it hangs just like that. There's two little, I don't know what you want to call them, hangers right there. So let those guys go in. We'll put in these four corner bolts. They are these longer ones right here. But you can't forget these mega washers. That's what Honda calls them. So the four go in there. This guy is going to pop on there. There's two hangers here, so if you can, orient your battery the same way as mine. Put it on there, and it'll stay just fine. Four bolts in the corner. I'd recommend torquing those guys to 100 too. Well, those are in. Last thing we need to do is three temperature sensors and pop this in the channel 
So along here, there's a crack in the wall. You want to slide it through. So we'll use our flat head. Make sure it goes all the way in. Pop them in. It's that simple. Last thing is going to be the foam. The most difficult and dangerous part of the whole process. So I believe it went, was it LCR or RCL? Nope. Did I get these mixed up? There we go. Had him backwards. <laughs> this guy's gonna go back on. So is this side piece. This tapered side right here is gonna go on the same side with this tapered container. Now the plastic clips for this are different than the plastic clips for this. These shorter ones are for the smaller piece. These longer ones are for over here. So use some brute strength. Push those all the way in. And we're missing one, so it's pretend. There we go. Two more pretends. And quick double check. That looks like everything. Now I'll give you guys some quick tips for reinstalling this into the car. First, these two positive, these two wires, the positive and the negative, right here, they're safe. Even if you turn this on, they're still safe. You have a device over here that breaks the connection still, so it's a redundancy. The way they make these batteries, they make it really difficult for you to actually get hurt. You've got to know how to hurt yourself in order to get hurt. So one thing I want to warn you guys about, even though this is totally safe, whether it's on or it's off, what you need to be worried about are these two wires in the vehicle. Um, the electric motor that's under the hood is also a generator. Um, so it creates electricity. If your engine is running while those two wires are out, there's high voltage. Um, Hondas, pretty cool, th uh, cool thing about the Hondas, even though most of their hybrid system sucks compared to the others, if the hybrid battery goes out completely or even if it's missing out of the car, they'll still start up and run. It doesn't last very long because the, the charging system for the 12 volt battery doesn't work very well. But um, if that engine is spinning, that electric motor is creating electricity and the two wires in the car are going to be high voltage. So the car needs to be off for five minutes. Uh, before you even go in there, let those two wires uh, drain down their voltage. So remember that. When you reinstall this, it's pretty simple. You've got your four bolts right there, these two connections, and these two connections here. That's pretty much it. It's, it's straightforward, simple. Uh, there's no little wires over here you got to worry about. You don't really need to touch much over here. So if you have any questions, you purchased a battery from us, Give us a call. You can talk with myself or any one of the guys here. We'll walk you through any problems that you have. Um, if you purchased a battery from us, thank you very much. You know, we do our best to make them last a long time and, and definitely more than the, the warranty period. So any questions, comments, send us an email, leave a comment. Thanks, guys.